The year is 1985. Marty McFly lives at home with his failure siblings, his alcoholic mom Lorraine, and his cowardly dad George. Marty has a weird, unexplained connection to local mad scientist Doc Brown, who has just made a huge breakthrough in the time machine he's building out of a 1982 DeLorean. Doc Brown got the money to build his time machine from inheriting his family fortune. Could I put a line in my last will and testament that demands my heirs only use my money to, in to attempt to invent a time machine? That's actually, I think that's you okay. You would want to do it through a trust? That might be evidence that you're not of sound mind. So they would say, if the, he re, he believes that time machines were real, obviously he was not of sound mind it when he executed this. So what I would do is I would find everything I could that has to do with actual scientific research regarding the, the possibility of time travel, and I would incorporate that into my will. And it depends okay. on who does it. Yeah. Elon Musk has that in his will. I'd be like, sure, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that plays. If the yeah, narrative that's that on play. brand. <laughs> Basically, if you use the will as the mechanism to kind of force your heirs to do certain things that they can basically petition the court and say hey he was not of sound mind this is an unreasonable request and i should get all wills go before courts a request can be void as against public policy you can't limit people's rights and you can't do things that generally public policy wouldn't support you can't say i leave you thirty thousand dollars if you uh, marry a catholic girl Yes. Okay. Can't do that. Yikes. <laughs> I leave you my sawed-off shotgun mm -hmm. for the purpose, for the purpose of, of knocking over this liquor store. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's gonna yeah, be a no-go. So. so, but now you're saying a trust yeah. though is not subject to those same things, it's, right? It's a lesser limit. Lesser so, limit. There are certain things you still can't do, but it gives broader discretion. And the biggest question I have is, <laughs> why was Marty McFly friends with an old man? I have never. Been, it's anyway. unexplained. Look, if. He's a local eccentric. Yeah. Marty is a young man with a sense of adventure. Yep. <laughs> the doc is the kind of guy who knows how to get plutonium from some Libyans. Yeah. He's the kind of guy who's fun. That's so creepy. Don't don't make this sexual. It's not sexual. <laughs> doc and Marty travel back to the old west. If Doc files a will slash trust in the eighteen hundreds and then comes back to his time and dies, if he dies two hundred or three hundred years later after he's filed his will in the eighteen hundreds, like is that will valid? Um, I think the short answer to this is yeah. the law is not equipped to deal, to deal with, with the situation. No. <laughs> Let's get out of the realm of the supernatural. Let's get out of the realm of time travel. I file a will. 300 years from now, I die. Yeah. Assuming certain things have not happened, that will would be valid. It will, it will still say valid. As long as you didn't get married. If you have kids, they'll force them in. Your bigger danger is literally that paper decaying. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's my question is like what institutions have to survive in order for something like that to I be guess possible? the courthouse the has probate survive. court. Like the American common law system, right? Like if America goes down like Oh, but then it's probably not <laughs> worth it. You might as well just shut it all down. It's like in some sort of mad I Max. leave I leave to my children <laughs> my my car that I've covered in spikes. <laughs> God, I feel like I should start getting ready for this. <laughs> and I, I thought this would be more interesting. So I guess the answer is just yes, as long as society hasn't yeah, I mean, fallen there's apart. Yeah, no, there's no time, li time limit on a will. It does okay. expire. Um, last question. If you woke up in 1985, you're you, you're transported back, what do you do? That's my question. It's not an estate planning question. It's just oh. a fun one. <laughs> and then, like, do I later get zapped back to the No, you don't. You're, you're trapped. I just get a job, I guess. Yeah. You know, I, eat. <laughs> I would go to a lot of concerts. Because think oh, about how, yo, many, that's a great idea. how many bands from like the 60s and 70s and even 80s are like classic, like awesome live yeah, act. I'd probably run into my parents and I'd be like, hey guys. I would avoid that. R really? Yeah. Why well, would I, well, I? I was already alive. Oh, because then I might not be around. You're right. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to mess if with that. What if your mom time? falls in love with you? And you can sleep in my room. Yikes. Oh, God. Okay. Hey, no don't thanks. be mean to your mom. <laughs> let's change the topic. <laughs> no, let's dig in. <laughs> Talk so much about my mother during this episode. This <laughs> all well, you're the one who nice. brought it up, Noah. You're the one who brought it up. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, let us know. Guys, our law firm is dedicated to uh, making wills and trusts and helping people with end-of-life legacy preservation. Um, because of that, we've created a PDF, a downloadable PDF that is basically an intro to everything that you need to know about estate planning. Basically, the process of making sure that everybody gets what you want after you pass away. Um, you can go ahead and download that link in the description um, to get that PDF. Basically, you will learn everything that you need to know to create a great 
estate plan. Um, guys, thanks so much for watching. By the way, if you would like to work with us, you can give us a call at 404-939-7562 um, or send us an email at info at modernestateplanning.com. Also, if you could share this on your timeline, that would really, really help us out. Guys, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.